Pat Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Really good news. Our overlord, Anthony Fauci, says we can feel good about getting together with family uh, at Thanksgiving this year. So I was waiting for that. That was a close one. Wow. Mm, Now that you have permission from St. From the overlord. Yeah. St. Dr. St. Fauci. Dr. St. I'm sorry. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. So, so now, 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 so you were holding off on making of plans. Of course, wasn't everybody? Mm. Wasn't everyone? I hope so. But he did say people can feel good about having normal holiday gatherings. If they, oh, I'm sorry. Uh oh, what? If they and their family are vaccinated against COVID nineteen, so I guess I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't feel good about it. But I'm. I'm gonna do it anyway. I just can't feel good about it. I guess. Darn it. Darn it. So if you're vaccinated, Mm -hmm. even though we know that if you are vaccinated, you could still... My wife is vaccinated. uh Uh-huh. And she could still get the COVID. Yes. I'm just trying to figure out why he says if you're vaccinated. I'm I'm still still waiting for that empirical evidence. If you get your your vaccination and your family's vaccination, you can feel good about enjoying a typical Thanksgiving... In Christmas with your family and close friends. Oh, shut up. So when you go to indoor congregate settings, go the extra mile. Be safe. Wear a mask. <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> but when you're with a family, your family at home, goodness, enjoy it with your parents, your children, your grandparents. There's no reason not to do that. Okay. You know, as long as you're all vaccinated, of course. Got it. And then you got to wear the mask, uh, you know, because... You want to protect the protected. This will end, (laughs) Fauci noted. We're not going to be going through this indefinitely. Mm -hmm. How quickly we get to the end depends on us. How well we vaccinate, how well we get boosted, and how well we do the kinds of things to protect ourselves. Hold on a second. What is the one thing in this whole COVID era that we're living through? What is the one thing that's been the constant? Everything that man says, the opposite happens. And what did he just say? Mm-hmm. We're going to get to the end of this? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> That's not very optimistic, Keith. I'm not a very optimistic person, Pat. Hmm. Wow. That comes as a shock to many of us. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does. Oh, this Stunning. guy's still talking, though, huh? Still Good. talking. Love it. Mm. Ah, geez. And he just thinks so much of himself and everything he says. Like, we've all been just waiting with bated breath to hear what Dr. St. Anthony Fauci says about whether we can get together for Thanksgiving or not. Sad little man. Sad little man. (laughs) Go to YouTube. Sad little man. Five times August. Great song. Oh, boy. She played again. That's such a great song. (laughs) It's so good. (laughs) It is. Oh. (sighs) It's it's um I'm ready for him to just step away. Hmm? Fauci, yeah. 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 Take a break from us seeing you for a while. Would be nice. Would be really, really nice. Hmm. Uh the the uh jury may start deliberating uh today, I believe, in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. What a weird what a weird trial that was. Uh and it finished with a Almost with a bang yesterday. Oh, my gosh. The stupid lawyer, the uh, prosecutor, um, held up an AR-15 and pointed it with his finger on the trigger. I don't know that he was pointing at any person, but I think he he just pointed at the wall. You don't do that. I... You don't do that. This guy. This guy. There's not... uh, Whatever. I mean, he is, from start to finish, a clown. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I mean, did the guy get his law degree from a Happy Meal? Oh, you can get is those? that? Yeah, I, you can get a law degree from a Happy Meal. I didn't ever yeah. get that one. You get the Junior McCheeseburger, the fries, the small drink, and a law degree they from McDonald's. They, oh, wow, the law degree. Come, mm-hmm. They don't force the mm-hmm. apples on you anymore? No, you can get the, well, you can get the law degree or the apples. And oh. I, I think they ask you what you want when you're at the counter. <laughs> Okay. So, all right. Yeah. Uh Guy's unbelievable. Stupid. Like you (laughs) you can't believe Uh, some of the stuff he believed. 
Uh, for instance, he said that if you bring the gun, you can't, then that negates any sort of self-defense. What? Uh, claim on your part. <laughs> Completely untrue. Uh, no, that's not a thing. So, um... I love the defense uh, <clears throat> uh, for the defense attorney for Rittenhouse yesterday saying, I'm glad he shot those guys. I love that. His closing argument. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very. Yeah, so the jury has the the case before them now. Yep. And uh, we'll see. Um, boy, the left is... Uh, I think the left is actually rooting for an acquittal because it's been a while since they've burned anything down. So they're probably lying in wait now. Yeah, they're getting excited about this, uh, about the possibility here. Yeah. Um, this is really something, though. Here's what the prosecutor said. <clears throat> this, these were some of his closing arguments. Mm-hmm. He <clears throat> diminished the actions committed by Joseph Rosenbaum before his encounter with Rittenhouse, sarcastically saying he tipped over a porta potty that had no one in it. He swung a chain. He lit a metal garbage dumpster on fire. Oh, and there's this empty wooden flatbed trailer that they pulled out in the middle of the road and they tipped it over uh, to stop some bear cats and they lit it on fire. Oh, and he said some bad words. He said the N-word, tisk tisk tisk, <laughs> as he mockingly wagged his finger. Uh, I don't, I don't think the jury's going to respond well to that. Okay, so he was, he was destroying property. He was lighting fires. He was uh, yelling the N-word. <laughs> I mean, what do you? This is supposed to be like no big deal to the jury, I guess. Oh yeah, okay. Well then, he's fine. And then he pointed the gun at Rittenhouse. Yeah, don't worry about that. That's perfectly fine. Uh, absolutely amazing. Absolutely in, in amazing. In a sane world, and that, that is an important qualifier, in a sane world, uh, we have the verdict about five minutes after uh, yes. business hours open today. Yeah. And Although, it's... I think they're going to spend a long time with it because they'll want to show the people that they're you know, they carefully deliberated and they went over all the evidence and they were, they didn't rush to judgment because they could be in real trouble here too. I, I think people are going to start going after the juries, the jurors, if, uh, if he's found innocent and yeah. he will be, I think. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's, it's, it's prime season, a story like this for the hypocritical tweets to be, uh, out there from the left. These are fun. Yeah. Like the uh, the writer guy, uh, the author there, what's his name? Uh, Dylan something, I don't know. Uh, Dylan Park. Sure. Yeah. Tweets, uh, he tweeted, First Amendment rights. It's back it, in January 7th. First Amendment rights is a weird way to spell sedition, insurrection, and felony trespassing. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, then he tweeted, this was yesterday. Uh, yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay. With a verdict near Governor Tony Evers said that 500 National Guard members would be prepared for duty in Kenosha if local law enforcement requested them. Burn that mf -er to the ground. Oh, well, wait a minute now. Hold on. Huh. Uh, and he was talking about sedition, insurrection, and felony trespassing at the, uh, at the uh -huh. Capitol. But, so that's insurrection. But burn Kenosha to the ground. Okay. Yeah, the hypocrisy is absolutely amazing. Representative Cori Bush. She's good, right? Also tweeted out, when we marched in Ferguson, white supremacists would hide behind a hill near where Michael Brown Jr. was murdered and shoot at us. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Uh, I would have thought that would maybe be <laughs> newsworthy. That, I would be. T would we not be having that on the show? Pre uh, pre I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. White supremacist shooting. I should have actually looked this at, up. <laughs> at people who were n near where Michael Brown Jr. was murdered. Uh, the They never face consequences, Corey Bush uh, tweeted. That's not right. If Kyle Rittenhouse gets acquitted, it tells them that even seven years later, they can still get away with it. <sighs> all, <laughs> all of the references... To Corey Bush and being mm. shot at by white supremacists are all news stories from yesterday with that tweet. There's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, because it 
it didn't happen. And uh, everybody knows it didn't happen. And why is this thing being made into an, a racial issue? It was a white guy shooting white guys. Why is this a racial thing? Uh, How is it happening? Stop it. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Because the people that attacked Rittenhouse were there to defend Jacob Blake. Remember how this all started? Yeah. I, I have no I, idea what they're I doing. I guess. Twist their logic. Very, bu- very bizarre. Uh, can we stop with the racial disharmony, please? Because uh, this has nothing to do with that. Now, yeah, what brought on the rioting in the first place was brought on by the shooting of a black man. I, I can't remember which one, though. Do you rem- What were the circumstances of this one? Of this one here? Uh, of the one in Kenosha? Oh, this was Jacob Blake. Um, uh, he was Is he a, the one that was he's that the scum- stole the car? Uh, he's the scumbag who showed up at his girlfriend's, girlfriend's house, house. Right. right? And he Took had, her car. Well, yeah, and this is the guy you know That's earlier right. who had done some very heinous things to her Gosh. while her child was in bed with her. Um, and then he, the police show up at the house where he is not supposed to be, and they they try to approach him, and he reaches into his car. They shoot. He's shoot paralyzed. Him. Yeah, they shot him multiple times. And is he still paralyzed? I believe he is. I'm pretty sure he is. Mm-hmm. I'll have to look that up. So then the rioting occurred. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, Pathead Jay Stuber sent this to us. What if a woman's husband was forced medical treatment, forced medical treatments on her, monitored her bank account for every change, said when she could work, and told her when she could leave the house and who she could be with? Wouldn't you tell her to get out of that abusive relationship? So America, why are you putting up with the, all this from your leaders? There you go. That's uh, America <laughs> yeah. 2021 in a nutshell. It's an abusive relationship. Yes. Okay. So a woman's, what if a woman's husband forced medical treatments on her? For, for instance, I don't know, vaccines. Mm-hmm, mandate. Uh, monitored her bank account for every change, which they're talking about doing in this in the, in the legislation. Uh, said when she could work, uh, lockdowns, I, I suppose, I so, yeah. and told her when she could leave the house and who she could be with. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, right? That's great. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Also at Pat Unleashed uh, on Twitter. Uh, we should jump into the the uh, Biden speaking to some former supporters yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, okay, this is good stuff. Okay. Uh, Go ahead and play clip one. I don't intend to be anybody but Joe Biden. That's who I am. (laughs) Okay, Brandon. (laughs) All the pieces on the board are moving. Brandon, everything's going to be okay. But but, but, but I, I sincerely mean it. This is a confusing time. Confusing time. Hey, listen, cry, baby. Why is the price of, of, of agricultural products, when I go to the store, why is it higher? Yeah. When you you go to the, the store. Supply chain. Well, mm-hmm. why is everything backed up? Brandon! <laughs> well, it's backed up because the people who supply the materials that end up being on our kitchen table or in our, mm-hmm. in, in our, our, fam- our, our, our life, guess what? 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 They're closed those plants because they have COVID. Hey, Brandon! How dumb do you think I am? Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the way, everybody <laughs> internationally uses the Build Back Better now. When I use the phrase initially, people looked at me like, Build Back Better. I will chain you to a pipe and a crawl space. This bill, <laughs> probably starting within the next uh, two to three months, as we get things shovels and grounds. I will downsize your face with a shovel. <laughs> I take, I'm going to get in real trouble. <laughs> Did you catch that? Dude wants us to believe that he came up with Build Back Better. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Your international overlords told you that's the name of the plan because everybody's plan is that. Everybody. I love how he's like, yeah, so when I said that, everyone's like, hey, what, what's that? I, I think I'll steal that from you, Joe. <laughs> uh, and the only thing people looked at him funny w- w- with was because it's stupid. It's a stupid <laughs> slogan. It is stupid. And it's a communist slogan. It's a communist plan and a stupid slogan. Mm-hmm. So we don't want anything to do with it. <sighs> Build back better is just code for the great reset that they're trying to they're trying to perpetrate on the American people. Uh, and they're trying to do this around the around the planet. 
as well. We've heard the English talk about it, the French, the Germans. Everybody's on the Build Back Better bandwagon. Well, when I first mentioned this, people looked at me like, <laughs> what do you mean? And now everybody loves it. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's rough. All right. Uh, let me tell you about Keeps. Uh, how will you know when you're ready to do something about your receding hairline or bald spots, you know, that male pattern baldness? Now, Keith wears a cap. Yeah, I do. Almost all the time. Yeah. Uh, and covers up his, his baldness. Yeah. However, <laughs> unbeknownst to us, yeah. he started using Keeps, what, uh, six In the months March, ago? March, yeah. March? Something like that, yeah. And, um, and like you said, I like to wear hats. In fact, I like to just shave my head, quite frankly. Mm-hmm. And I thought, you know what? I've actually been seeing progress since the summer. Maybe I should let it grow out a little bit so we could demonstrate it for a commercial. I didn't tell you until this morning before the show. Yeah. But yeah, and 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 I will say before I show you this, there before I started Keeps, and by the way, they didn't send me this product for free. I am a paying customer 100%. Mm-hmm. You could not, the hair from one side to the other, there didn't was connect. No, there's no bridge there between point A and point B. Now, now look at that. Now. Look at that. I mean, that's living proof there. And that's after about three weeks of not shaving it, right? After about three weeks of not shaving it and, like you said, about seven months of using it. That's and it was about phenomenal. About four months in. And see, when you're going bald and you put your palm of your hand on your bald head, you can feel yeah. that skin to skin. You don't feel that anymore, you know? Oh, it's definitely... Oh, it that's absolutely pretty worked. exciting. And I just want to make it clear... I am speaking as a paying customer. Mm-hmm. They've given me nothing for free, no discount, nothing. I just, when I called them, I didn't say, by the way, I'm working, you know. So right. this is all on the, nice as a customer. That's great. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited. But so you're among the 66% who experienced hair regrowth. Absolutely. No question. Yeah. That is really amazing. Because 90% of the time it stops the, it stops the balding process. And then about 66% of the time, you see hair regrowth. Great company to work with. I have talked with individuals there with the company and asked And they kind of tailor-made things for you? Yeah, for- yeah. So, like, if you don't want all of the products that come with the initial kit, mm-hmm. then you can call them and say, hey, I'd kind of like this instead, and they, they tailor it for you. It's That's awesome. I mean, they are such an easy, awesome. relaxed company. And if you have questions along the way, you can message your Keeps doctor mm-hmm. 24-7, track your progress with Keeps Progress Tracking Tool. Uh, this is really convenient. You just go online. You do it all online. You don't have to go to the doctor. You don't have to go to the pharmacy. They send it all to you. It's fantastic. Go to keeps.com, keeps.com slash pat for 50% off your first order of hair loss treatment. That's keeps.com slash pat. <laughs> I can't wait for this uh, Rittenhouse verdict. Uh, although all hell's going to break loose probably in Wisconsin. Of course it is. That's going to be unfortunate. And then it'll spread for some reason to <laughs> Los Angeles and New York and Chicago and New Orleans and wherever else. I, I mean, I hate that. Uh, and none of it makes sense because this has no racial component to it. So we don't need to have uh, racial rioting. We, we, <laughs> that uh, shouldn't be going on. Um, but, uh, we'll see how that works out. Also, we've got a big announcement from, uh, Beto. I understand Beto is back and this time, uh, he's just as stupid as he's always. <laughs> yeah, yesterday morning, right when we went off the air, he tweeted <laughs> out that he's definitely running for governor and we couldn't be more excited. Look at that. Aren't you excited when you saw that tweet yesterday? I'm running for governor together. We can push past the small and divisive politics that we see in Texas today and get back to the big, bold vision that used to define Texas. A Texas big enough for all of us. All right. Oh, wow. Aren't you excited now? Oh, I got chills from that. I got chills. That's (laughs) so exciting. Now, he made an announcement video that you and I were like, we're not watching this. Yeah, I, I, we couldn't watch it <laughs> off the air. This is a one-time thing. We have thing. never seen this video of his announcement yesterday. I guess we, we should have, probably. But, probably, uh, but we couldn't we handle it. We can't stomach it. <laughs> okay, just can't do it. Uh, here it is. I'm running for governor, and I want to tell you why. 
Okay. okay. This past February, when the electricity Pause it for a second. Sailed, Again and... with the same blue shirt. What's oh, the right. deal, dude? What is the deal? He has one shirt. Or he's got, you know, five of the same shirt. I I, I don't know what that he is. He is Fred Flintstone. Yeah, every single time <laughs> he's wearing this shirt. All right, let's see this. Millions of our fellow Texans were without power, which meant <laughs> that the lights wouldn't turn on, the heat wouldn't run, mm-hmm. and pretty soon yeah. the pipes froze yeah. right. and the pretty water soon. stopped flowing. Yeah. They were yeah. abandoned by abandoned. those who were elected to serve Pause. and look out for them. He's talking about Ted Cruz, apparently, right? They were abandoned. <laughs> so Ted Cruz went to Mexico for like a day, and then people had a conniption over it. I don't know why. What was Ted going to do? Turn back on our, our heat? Hold on a second. He does realize he's no longer running against Ted Cruz, right? Uh, I don't know if he realizes that. That was a previous butt kicking he suffered. Yes. Okay. He lost to Ted for the Senate. He lost to everybody for the uh, presidency. Mm -hmm. Uh, And he's going to get his anus kicked (laughs) again this time for governor. But let's see what else he has to say here. It's a symptom of a much larger problem that we have in Texas right now. Is it? Those in positions of public trust have stopped listening to, serving, and paying attention to, and trusting the people of Texas. And so they're not focused on the things that we really want them to do. Oh, okay. Like making sure that we have a functioning electricity grid, or that we're creating the best jobs in America right here in Texas, uh-huh. or that we have world-class schools, or that we make progress on Wait, the things that are. most of us actually agree on, we are on like expanding these. Medicaid or oh, legalizing I don't marijuana. Agree on that. Instead, they're focusing on the kind of extremist Do most of us agree on expanding? Probably. Probably do. Uh, Most people probably agree on expanding Medicaid. Oh. Uh, But do they they agree on, like, legalizing marijuana? Uh, Do do we agree on that? Because I don't. I'm not with you on that. Are you on that? Oh, absolutely. You're okay with legalizing I'm not gonna, marijuana? I'm not going to vote for this clown because of that, but I just think it's a, a basic uh, libertarian view as far as people making their own decisions. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Maybe most people are there. I, I've heard Glenn mention it a few times. Mm. Maybe we should legalize drugs. Uh, yeah, I don't know that I'm there. Uh, but let's see what else we, we can agree on. Like Electricity that. grid failed. And those in power failed all of us. Mm-hmm. It was the people of Texas who were willing to put their differences behind them and get to work doing the job at hand, which mm-hmm. meant helping our fellow Texans get through that crisis. Mm-hmm. We did this out of a sense of duty and responsibility to one another. Is he going to cry? Now imagine <laughs> if the governor of Texas felt that <laughs> oh, same way. because he was going to cry. Well, imagine there's something that, that you and I wow. can do about that. Yeah, I want you to be right. part of this campaign. And whether that begins today with a campaign contribution or signing up for a volunteer shift <laughs> Bad chance. or just committing yourself to talking with your friends and family about, about how, how bad you are, this I'll do that. I'll I do want that. you on the team and I want to win this with you yeah, I bet and you for do. you and but for all the people to. of Texas. I'm looking forward to seeing you out there on the campaign trail. Yeah, you Thank won't you. be oh, yeah. seeing me there. You won't be seeing me, Beto. Beto for Texas. Oh, look, he's got the same recycled <clears throat> logo there. How neat. You ready? This guy thinks so much of himself. How many times do we have to tell him we're not interested? We're not interested. Okay? Beat it, Beto. He Uh, is, uh, he's not good at planning ahead. um, Because mm Beto22.com, it's a fun little website domain that he probably should have purchased since uh, someone else running for governor has (laughs) Beto22.com. Really? And that is our own Chad Prather down the hall. <laughs> really? If you go to oh, that's great. Beto22.com. Let me do that right now. Yeah, why now. you do that? Why you I'm going to just do that right now. Beto22.com. Enter. And uh, that was smart of Chad. Beto22.com. <laughs> and. Oh, hey there, Chad Prather for Texas governor. Isn't that Prather awesome? 2022.com. It, it redirects. Yeah. <laughs> love it. It's so I good. I love it. That's great. He was just sitting there waiting. You know Chad was just begging Beto to run. Oh, you know he's psyched about that. <laughs> yeah. Now, bang. You're right there to Chad Prather for uh, Texas governor. <laughs> so, all right. This is going to be a treat, huh? So when you go to Chad, you can meet Chad. You can go to the issues. Videos, events, resources, get involved. Uh, what are his issues? Farming and ranching. Mm-hmm. That's a big thing of mine. 
too. Uh, and I know, Keith, you are really passionate no way. about farming and ranching. Am I right? I got some cattle. <laughs> I'm, I'm driving, driving to the, the town. town. Uh, so this fits into it. A strong agricultural base leads to healthy, thriving communities. Mm-hmm. I've always said that. And so does Chad, obviously. Right to life. Thank you. Uh, Texas rights. Four pragmatic policies to ensure Texas rights. Energy. So we won't be abandoned when it gets cold in Texas again, like we were last time. Yeah. <laughs> Ted just left us high and dry. He I, didn't come and turn on my power. Bastard. <sighs> I had rolling blackouts while he was in Mexico relaxing by the pool. Didn't you have a pipe burst too? Yes. Why didn't Plumber why, Ted? Why didn't Plumber Ted show up? Plumber Senator Ted. <laughs> Plumber Senator Ted. <laughs> Uh, that he's going to talk border security, that he's got education, economy, heat, unmandate. These are good things. Mm-hmm. This is a... Uh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's good stuff. Chad's got some good uh, ideas here. Yeah, he um, does. I'm just looking under his uh, education thing. Obviously, reject Common Core, um, robustly reward performance-driven teachers, uh, work to span civics, U.S. and Texas history programs. I like it. Provide career counseling. Uh, I, I need to talk to him about homeschooling. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm sure he is <clears throat> right there, but I just want to see if he's got... Because there was a guy um, here in Texas. He's still in mm. office, but uh, anyway, it was it was about taking your property tax and being able to apply that to supplies for homeschool or homeschooling. Oh, wow. Right? And like this was, I'm telling you, this was eight years ago, this guy. He's still in office, um, mm. but he's, what is it? Uh, Anyway, this is people... That like, would have been great. People in 49 states right now are like, whatever. Uh, oh, Glenn Hagar, uh, Texas Comptroller. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Sammy's brother. Sammy's brother. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't drive 55, <laughs> y'all. Can you imagine? There wasn't that long ago that we had to drive 55. Like, like I drove between Scottsbluff, Nebraska, and Lincoln, Nebraska on a regular basis. 55! I mean, 55 is like the school, school zone speed limit now, so... <laughs> That's that is, 55 is what the uh, church bus full of nuns yeah, drives on the interstate. Come on, 55. Uh, you just can't. You can't do it. Uh, there's almost no freeway in, in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex where it's 55. There's a few places. Freeway? In, on freeways. But really? usually it's 65, 70, 75. Hold on. I, I'm asking 80. like, wait, there is? Maybe I should pay more attention. I think attention. there is. Yeah, You're right. I think there, there is. There is. Uh, There's a couple places, but they don't last very long. Yeah. You know, they're like through construction zones and things <laughs> oh, and <no>. school zones. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I, I just want to drive to Austin just to do that 85 mile an hour interstate. Again. I know. That's fun. What used to be great, and I've mentioned this before, but back in the day, yeah. Montana had no speed limit. You just had to. I mean, if the conditions were bad, you mm-hmm. had to use your noodle. Otherwise, you could be pulled over for unreasonable speed or something. But if you're going 100 miles an hour, yeah, th- that's not that's not exceeding the speed limit. Oh, well, it was Montana or Wyoming. I feel like one of those states tried that or something. And then the uh, the federal government, the Clinton administration said, yeah, if you want highway funds, yes. then you're going to have a yes, it was Montana. speed limit. Yep. How long did it last? Do you know? Uh, my whole life growing oh, really? up in Montana. Yeah, we had it the whole time. Oh, so that was like uh, later on that the federal government flexed their muscle. Mm-hmm. Uh, then in the 90s sometime. Yeah. The so. federal government threatened to take away all federal funds. And so they went back to, I don't know, probably 55 at the time. Now it's probably take 70. Take a stand, Montana. Go I back know. to no speed limit. We'll, I know. We'll start a GoFundMe for uh, Montana highways. So right. So they can uh, keep that going. <laughs> I love that. I, space. The spaces are too wide open to go 55. It's I'm stupid. telling you, dude. It's just stupid. Your home state. And people will yell at me. Don't advertise. We want to keep it secret. Montana is the greatest state. It's a great state. Mm. It really is. Mm. Uh, you just can't make a living there. At least I couldn't doing what I do. Uh, <laughs> triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Yeah. More Pack Grand Leash coming up. Now back to Pat Gray on the Blaze Radio Network. Yeah. Uh, welcome, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Uh, Pat unleashed on Twitter. Got this from uh, DMX DM. Keeps is a raging success. Think of how much more hair Keith would have if the Falcons and Huskers didn't suck so much this year. All right, I got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Been pulling his hair out over those two teams. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. Nancy's, Nancy's privileged birdbath scrubber tweets. So if you don't bring a gun and you get attacked, you then ask your attacker to wait while you go and get a gun. Yeah, it seems reasonable. Mm-hmm. Sure. Then, then you can use self defense. That's when it. Then, yeah. then it's self. But if you bring the gun in advance, uh-huh. no, which is not a thing, by the way. Mm-hmm. The Steve Forty Two tweets: Maybe Corey Bush meant the white supremacists were shooting with them with cameras. <laughs> Possibly. I wouldn't put a pastor for meaning that. Squatching duck. Uh, Joe Biden basically just told us, "I am a really, I am really confused and stupid." So I'm pretty sure you are too. Yep. Pretty much. <clears throat> Such a great administration, this Biden-Harris team. Oh, huh? I love it. I love it. They're then you good. got Harris 2024, uh, which mm-hmm. everybody's getting ready for. I'm so excited for Harris 2024, aren't you? Oh, wow. Yeah. You think she's running? Uh, yes. If <laughs> if Biden doesn't, obviously she can't run if Biden is still around and, and Biden, cognizant. Biden uh, running in 2024. I, I don't That's think cute. there's any way. That's but, three years from now. <clears throat> yeah. Ugh. Um... He's held up, though. You know, I I think I'm wrong about the Christmas prediction. Oh, yeah. I think he's going to make it to Christmas now. Oh, yeah. You know what? I should check that. Yeah. So we've passed yeah. Jeffy's December 3rd. Or, I'm so, no, we haven't yet. Me. Not quite yet. I'm so tired. Okay. Well, we're going <laughs> to pass A couple weeks away Jeffy's from that, but December... we're going to pass that. And we, he's going to blow by Christmas, and then And then yours was, you know, Christmas, like you said. So mine was January 21st, 2023. Uh, 2023. Oh, so you've yeah. got a, over a year. Well, because I think that was part of the yours, plan. They yours give, could hold up. They give him two years. Mm-hmm. Then she can have the last two and give her a head start for the next eight. That could hold up. Ten years of Kamala. How much you? How much you loving this experience now, huh? You know, at a 28% approval, there's just no way right. she'd be elected. There's no way. There's no way that they saw her tanking. No, not this Worse badly. than this guy. Yeah. He's at 37, I think 38. And she's at 28. Oof. And what was Nixon when he resigned? 24. 24. So Biden says he intends to run for re-election, but not all Democrats believe him, nor are they convinced that uh, his number two would be the clear heir. And apparently at 28%, they're right. But uh, Transportation Secretary Pete Pete Buttigieg, apparently, is uh, going to jump into the race, they think. Oh, wow. Cory Booker. Um, Transportation Secretary Buttigieg, has he been going around? He hasn't. Has he's he been on leave, remember? Because yeah, he, had to he was nurse on the leave. baby or something. But he hasn't been doing like the Iowa stops and all that, has he? Because Cory Booker no. uh, just went to uh, Manchester, New Hampshire Ooh. to bolster the chances of the mayor there Ooh. and his own chances uh, for president in 2024. You got Amy Klobuchar. Uh, nobody was interested in the the first time. Why would they be this time? <laughs> you got Terry McAuliffe who couldn't win the the governorship in <laughs> Virginia. Dude, He's gonna run. Call it a career already. Elizabeth Warren. What is she gonna be? 80, 85, 90? Uh, She's so relatable though. Yeah, she really is. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna get me a beer. A beer. <laughs> How old is she? How old do you think she is? Seventy uh, two. <clears throat> Okay, so in seventy in twenty twenty four, she's seventy four, seventy five ish. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the Connell's number one hit of all time, seventy four, seventy five. Nice job with that. <laughs> that was my intent. Right I there. thought so. I yeah. thought you were playing that game. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was under was the going radar. Down the Connell's. You road. thought that you were going to sneak seventy four, mm-hmm. seventy five references by that's what me. I thought, but no, you I were too sharp. So. You you got it. <laughs> So all of these people are wildly unpopular. Listen, look at this. Look at the bench right. for the Democrats. They've got nobody. Nobody. Seriously, they'd be better off with John Kerry than any of these. Or uh, hmm. <laughs> who's the congressman? Al Gore, we, oh, Al Gore oh, for sure. But oh, oh, uh, uh, what's his face? Is he like Gilmore? Or, uh, Not like, Gilmore. Oh, 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 uh, uh, from Missouri? Uh, yeah. Why am I thinking Kit Bond? Hold on. Uh, Gephardt. Uh, yes. <laughs> Dick Gephardt. Yes. Dick Gephardt. <laughs> I want to see They'd that. They'd be better off with Dick Gephardt. But see, that's what we said uh, in 2020. <laughs> They've got nobody. They've got nobody. Nobody. And then the nobody won. So do they have um, Senator Dominion? Is he available for running? Senator Dominion? <clears throat> yeah, you know, the guy who eventually helped uh, Biden pull it out there at the end. 
Never mind. Yeah, no. Uh, okay. Jeez. Yeah. yeah, you don't need anybody when you've got uh, electronics and hardware on your side, is my point. <laughs> Senator Dominion, can you help us out here? Senator Dominion's not... not, a, not he's not the, listed there? He's not listed Oh, he here. will be. He shows up about 3 a.m. the morning after, just right. in time. You think, where's yeah. this Senator Dominion guy going to come in and save the day and show up at this campaign stop? And then boom. And drop off... You know, 20 million votes <laughs> right. in the middle of the night. I tell you, that's Senator Dominion. You can count on him. It's just... Count on him. Don't, don't... He'll be there at the last minute. Yeah, He's not listed nervous. here, but he'll, yeah. he'll be there he, at the last minute. He was minute. the kid in college who waited to write his term paper until the morning <laughs> of before class, and then boom, magic happens, and he saves the day. Yep. Senator Dominion. <laughs> but seriously, is there any chance for any of these losers... Buttigieg, Booker, Klobuchar, McAuliffe, Elizabeth Warren. There's no way any of them have a chance against Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis. I don't think there's any way. So I've been wrong though multiple times. I know it's it's it makes elections. me nervous to make predictions like this. Yeah, you know because it's just. <laughs> It's too unpredictable in the United States now. Can we all agree that uh, it looks like it's just a formality at this point that Donald Trump is going to run? Correct? Don't we think that? I think that. Yeah, Yeah, I think that. I definitely think that. And I think Donald Trump would stomp Biden or whomever in 2024 now. You know what? Crush them. This talk just reminded me of something. Get this. I have an email address that I only use for fantasy football. Okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. This is important. I I don't give it out anywhere. Like literally the only entities that have this email address are related to fantasy football. Mm-hmm. I got my first spam 14 hours ago and it was from Ron DeSantis. Oh no, really? Dude is buying email lists. Wow. From somebody. I don't live in Florida. Wow. There's no connection between me and Florida. And here I get uh, this thing. I haven't even looked at it, but it looks like, uh, yeah, can you help out? Uh, yeah, if you want to be on the side of freedom, would you consider chipping in $36.50 or 365 uh, in this ensuing fight? So basically pushing back on all the COVID stuff that he has to deal with. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't see a governor doing that asking for nationwide money. yeah right you know this is like hey here's mm-hmm. my name don't forget it i'm fighting against these covid things i need your help in this state oh yeah don't forget my name right he's if trump doesn't run he's definitely running i don't think there's any question of that and i would i would love to lay odds right now on DeSantis being the <laughs> vice presidential pick for he's like look you know what you stay out of this race yeah. you run with my running mate it's not gonna be pence that's for sure right there's that whole thing of uh, <laughs> right. that trump just didn't deny calling pence up uh, uh wussy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with the p mm. and uh so i you know he did you of know course. he of course he called him that <laughs> for not overturning the election which by the way isn't a thing the vice president cannot overturn a U.S. election. I don't know where he gets off on that. How do you, where does that come from, from Donald Trump? The vice president can't overturn the election. Why do you think he can? If that was a thing, wouldn't every sitting president have their vice president (laughs) overturn the election? I, I don't know. It's just, it's weird. It's weird to me that he thinks that that was okay, or that could have well, happened. A case could be made, you know, back in, in January, that in the Constitution it says the vice president has to accept the results or, or gets to accept it, and, and I think the argument was just, just don't just, just don't, don't accept, accept the results. Yeah. Oh, that, yes. that wouldn't have done anything. Uh, it still would have happened. But, you know, he's mad at him, though. I mean, he wanted a lot more from Mike Pence than Pence could give. And what's so so he's not going to be the running man. You know, Mike Pence was the one guy that Donald Trump didn't hold a grudge against forever. Remember that? Because yeah. he supported Ted yeah. Cruz in the right. uh, primary up in Indiana. And but I think Pence, now he does hold a grudge against oh, Pence. Oh, yeah. Now that, that, yeah, that bridge relationship is, yeah. is over. <laughs> that's, that's over. You're not getting that one back. But but I, I, I don't think it could be understated. This email spam that I got. And my fantasy football email address shows that DeSantis is buying email lists yes. and, and nationally distributing his name. 
Yeah, if you've never used that at a store or online or any of that stuff, and he got it somehow. Yeah. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, all right. Let me tell you about uh, about iTarget Pro. Um, if you love your firearm, you love practicing with it, it's, it's really fun. And it's fun to go to the range and shoot. But you know what's even more fun? It's high tech. It's safe. And you can include everybody in the family with it. And that's practicing with your iTarget Pro iTarget Pro replaces the bullet in your chamber with a laser bullet. So that shows you where the shots land on a target. And it makes it all safe for you that, you know, bullets aren't flying through walls and things. And the (laughs) stuff you own. And it's safe. And it's a way that you can feel really good about showing the kids how to use a firearm and get comfortable with it. And there's no more inconvenient trips to the range or the expensive practice ammunition because buying ammo now, if you can even find it, is incredibly expensive. And then the dry fire training is going to help you develop muscle memory and target reaction speed, help you with your sight alignment, all of that kind of stuff. iTarget Pro comes in all the major calibers, including 223 for your AR-15, and you can stay sharp with anything you own. Go to iTargetPro.com, save 10% right now, plus get free shipping when you use the offer code PAT. Smartest way for you to practice, and it pays for itself in a day. Seriously. It's the letter I, then TargetPro.com. iTargetPro.com. Offer code, Pat. It's Pat Gray unleashed on the blades. Okay, we have another uh, really wonderful video to show you from Kamala Harris. Right? Uh, she's We've got a couple. Using English here, but... Uh, Are we sure? I, I think. Uh, this is... I, I think she is. She sucks. Here's what she's trying to say. We must together, work together, to see where we are, where we are headed, mm-hmm. where we are going, and our vision for where we should mm-hmm. be. Yeah. But also see it as a moment, yes, to mm-hmm. together mm-hmm. address the challenges and mm-hmm. to work on the opportunities <laughs> what? I, I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? We must together work together to do things t- together. What the heck? In, with the opportunities we have through togetherness. That was to be together. It's kind of like it's kind of like. I uh, personally believe uh, that U.S. Americans are right. unable to do so because because uh, some they, some people out there people in our nation in our that don't have that don't have maps. and uh, i believe that our ed- education like such as in such south, as africa south africa and, and the, the iraq the everywhere Iraq, like such as everywhere like such as i believe that they should she believes, uh, okay. our education over here over here in the u.s in the u.s should help the u.s, help US, the US. Uh, should help no south africa, the south africa it I should mean, help the iraq and, and the asian and countries. the iraq and the asian so we will be able to build up our future build up our future isn't that what she said at the we end we must together <laughs> work together <laughs> to see where we are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where we are headed. Uh huh. Yeah. Where Duh. we are going and our vision for where we should be. Uh huh. Sure. But also see it as a moment. Yes. Yes. To to together together address the challenges together. You got it. And mm-hmm. to work on the opportunities <laughs> for the future. <laughs> That's where she was going. Are the opportunities <laughs> for our future and our children in the Iraq in the Afghanistan. Cool. And the Asian countries. Heart, heartbeat away. <laughs> heartbeat away. It's frightening. And then yesterday, she and... This is so, so obvious. Everybody's talking about how Biden and Harris are not getting along right now. So oh, what really? Are, what are the, yeah. Oh, I missed yeah, this. Yeah, there's apparently tension between the president and the vice president. She doesn't like her assignments. She wants to do more. They've kind of sidelined her. And she's pissed off about it. Okay. And many sources are saying that. Oh, good. So what do they do? Uh, well, let's walk out uh, of the White House together, oh. and we'll put up a podium on the lawn, and we'll stand there together, and everybody will know everything's fine. That's everything's good. fine with us. Really? Okay, yeah. You've... Oh, okay. Obviously, we're wrong about tension because they came out together. <laughs> Look at this. Welcome, Heather Kurtenbach. Oh, wait. 
That's not In happening. a moment. <laughs> <laughs> now listen. Please listen. have a seat. Redmond. Something fell in the background. It's just too perfect. <laughs> like a cartoon. So uh, you know she loved that moment with with the uh, what was it? The um oh gosh, hail to the, uh, what was it they played? Anyway, you know the song. Mm -hmm. You know I think the it thing. Was to the chief. Yeah, the, the presidential song, right? Yeah. She walked up to the podium. She loved that little moment. She wasn't gonna have it taken from her by whoever this is off to my left. Heather Kirkenbach. Sure. No, in just a second, Pat. Mm -hmm. In on. a second. Hang Why? on. Who is Heather Kurtenbach? Oh, no. Are you going to make me Google this? Can we play that again? I want you to hear that thing crashing again. <laughs> that was so perfect. Hey. Please welcome Heather Kurtenbach. <laughs> in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Please have a seat. President. Yep, somebody dropped something. Oopsie daisy. I think a flag Sorry, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, nobody was wondering. So, that's so great. Uh, anyway. Heather Kurtenbach, who is she? Kurtenbach, uh, <clears throat> not a clue. I just know she keeps showing up in stories as the person that was introduced before Kamala stole the spotlight. So that was A, either recorded in advance, or B, the guy couldn't see the podium from where he was? Why would you introduce Heather Kurtenbach when Kamala Harris is standing there? I don't know. That was before that nice little uh, signing ceremony yesterday. Where, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It showed how together they are, though. Yeah. They signed a bill and she was standing next to him as Th he did sure it. sure did. I love the news alert I got from Fox News yesterday. Where um, all the news alerts were saying $1.2 trillion uh, signed uh, by Biden of your money or spent. Fox News said one comma two zero 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 whatever the hell of your money was spent yesterday. True. Pathway <laughs> unleashed. Great day you with us. Let's get some tweets here. Uh, Brandon, formerly known as Biden, <laughs> tweets. <laughs> Do you think the infrastructure bill, they'll switch the... Air Force One from steps for an escalator. Hmm. Uh, perhaps. <laughs> yes. Or one of those little perhaps. chairs, remember? You did yeah. the little chair. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, look at there. there. See, because he can't. Whoa. Can't handle this stuff. Easy. Easy. Wow. <laughs> he seems to have, you know, that time period was really bad for him. He seems to have stumbled onto a better prescription that he's taking or. Bro, it was windy that day. A treatment. It was windy. Yeah, the wind blew him down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A stiff seven mile an hour wind blew him right down. <laughs> Rants out loud tweets. Senator Dominion shows up to tell all the voter vote counters to go home for the night. <laughs> He's taking it from here. Uh, Pasaki Pasaks. Kamala is like that kid in public speaking class that rambled just to fill t the time requirements. Yeah. Uh, Been there. Exactly. Pastor Sam tweets, Democrats testing the political climate in Tejas. Hey, let's run Beto again and see what happens. That's about right. Mm -hmm. Conservatarian lady uh, tweets, Beto forgot to mention in his announcement that the reason for the rolling blackouts is because of green energy. Yeah. Good point true. Exactly right. Uh, also, on the Beto front... Let's not forget oh, no. what he said about our oh. AR-15. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. Uh -huh. We're not going to allow Hell yes. to our fellow Americans anymore. Would he try to do that as governor of the state of Texas? No, no, no. Sure, I'm sure not. No, he's he doesn't have any problem with the Second Amendment. This is just common sense gun control. That's all that is. If, Don't even worry about if it. If he somehow you know wins the Democrat nomination, which is quite possible mm -hmm. then whoever mm -hmm. the republican nominee is just needs to play that on loop on yes. every tv break every cowboys game everything that and his comments at the debate too well that was that right yeah oh was it that was mm -hmm. you stole the our, same one you stole the video's thunder i think pat oh dang it shame on you for being Darn it. you know doubly oh, well, prepared let's, let's play it on video Hell yes <laughs> we're gonna take your AR there you go your ak-47 <laughs> hell yes that sounds look familiar. how adamant he, got, he is he really thinks he's on the right side of that issue, too, because you don't say it that boldly if you don't think the American people are behind you. And what? Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15. Yeah. Wait, what? 
So that is a guy trying to play to the national left audience. Mm -hmm. And you might see that and think, oh, that guy's from Illinois. That guy's from California. Now he wants to be the governor of the state of Texas with that attitude toward guns? I don't think so. Good luck, bro. It shows you how out of touch these Democrats are. Um, By the way, on the GOP side, uh, we have... Liz Cheney, who is maybe, maybe going to run for president. Wouldn't that be exciting? All right. In 2024? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So um, CNN asked in a social media post, is there a lane for Liz Cheney in New Hampshire in 2024? (laughs) Ted Cruz responded to the question. (laughs) Yes. It's called the Democratic primary. (laughs) (laughs) However, Cheney Cheney later answered Cruz's post and said, I know you're posturing for the secessionist vote, Ted, Uh but my party, the Republican Party, saved the union. You swore an oath to the Constitution. Act like it. Cheney was among uh, 10 Republicans who voted to impeach President uh, Trump, former President Trump, obviously, regarding a charge of inciting the events of January 6th, recently visited New Hampshire, Uh, She continued vocalizing her criticism of former President Trump at the event, which is seen as her perhaps testing the waters Mm. for a presidential run in 2020. That would be lunacy on her part. So Liz Cheney goes to New Hampshire. Cory Booker goes to New Hampshire. You can't make the excuse that, like, I was just on the way to, to, I was just catching a flight, you know, on the way to, to L.A., and yeah, we everything runs through New Hampshire, right? Right, Manchester is such like, a major hub. It is, it is. You can't go anywhere. Like if, if I booked a flight from Dallas to Houston, it would go through New Hampshire. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it's weird. I picked up Seems on that too. Seems to be too. out of the way, but yeah, uh, no, that's that's what. That's so how they I do guess it. that's what's happening. Is her and Cory yeah. Booker are just like just an amazing. Uh, you know, as long as I'm here, I'll give a speech. <laughs> <laughs> I, neither one of them have a shot. I don't think so. I'm not really worried about it, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how, what shakes up between now and 2024 because so many different things can happen. I mean, that's a lifetime away in, in the political realm. Yep. Pathead uh, Roswell Alien <laughs> sent a video of the guy who uh, oh, made his yeah. way to the southern border. This is... This will startle you. Oh, gosh. And uh, be a little disturbing because... Huh, we left some stuff behind at the border? Really? Uh, Check this out. Guy just takes a little video shot of what's going on at the border. Okay. It's something the Democrats don't want you to see. That's coming. Did you not send this in? Yeah, they got it. They got it? All right. It's coming. And And it looks a a little something. Oh. Like. Okay. So we can come back to it. Mm. We can come back to it, Pat. Yeah. Anyway. So, uh. Okay. There you go. But but so are you convinced that that Joe Biden's not going to just um, waltz right in in 2024 for his second term that he's yeah, obviously pretty, earned? Pretty convinced. Yeah. 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 At 38% approval and it's sinking daily. Yeah. Is the Taliban going to vote for him? Because Oh yeah, they will. They've really And they'll probably count those votes. Right. <laughs> probably count them. They'll do the mail in and uh, they won't have to prove who they are. So, yeah. They... Have you seen the uh, the billboard that, that's making the rounds? I know as far as our audience goes, Sarah Toothpaste Words <coughs> sent uh, this lovely uh, billboard there in York, Pennsylvania that, that shows um, Joe Biden uh, dressed in particular garb, <laughs> making the Taliban <laughs> great again. With a rocket-propelled grenade launcher in his hand. Uh, making the Taliban great again. <laughs> and you talk about depressing, and we'll show the border video Jeez. in a second, but, I mean, how about the uh, Afghan soldiers now dressed to the nines uh, in U.S. Oh, yeah. military we gear and, and weapons? Look at that. That is absolutely heartbreaking. <sighs> that is... That's Taliban. Yes. Mm-hmm. Those are not American troops. Those are not American Taliban troops. Taliban in our stuff. With our weapons. <clears throat> yep. You ever watch... Um, uh, SEAL Team on CBS. Mm-hmm. used to be on CBS. Then they moved it to uh, streaming on Paramount+. Plus. But I love it. It's a, gr- it's a great show. Okay. And it's about SEAL teams. This particular SEAL team that goes out and does all kinds of, you know, operations. Okay. And on the latest episode, they go back to Afghanistan. So this was, I mean, just recently filmed because they talk about how what a waste it was. The 20 years they spent with blood and treasure that was given to that place and to try to, 
try to give them a future that's full of liberty and and uh, the <sighs> ability for women to grow and live their lives. And it's interesting because it sounds like us talking. Yeah. And it's a CBS network show. Mm. So it's interesting how widespread and pretty much universal the disgust over the Afghanistan situation is. And they didn't they really didn't pull any punches about how wow. bad that was and wow. how bad it turned out. In fact, one of the characters, one of the key characters uh, on the SEAL team, at one point in the show, I think towards the end, had a 912 baseball cap on. Oh, my. Huh. Wow. Interesting. Well, if you want to stay on the depression hmm. front here, um, mm-hmm. we do have the video of the border ready now. All right. Let's see that. My goodness. You want to get pissed off? President Not really, Trump but said that wall wasn't tall enough, 18 foot wall. Mm-hmm. So he built this one. Oh, over 30 feet tall. He's going to have lighting put in on this whole border down here so you could see. So Border Patrol could see at night because this is where the drug smugglers drop off just off the uh, the two highway in Mexico. That's where the drug smugglers drop their guys off. Goes for miles. We're uh, over 20 miles outside of San Luis down that way. President Trump said, you know, we're going to spend the money, the infrastructure to fix this. Got all the concrete footings in place over here. Got a big, beautiful mm-hmm. wall with a gate that's that's open. With a big, beautiful door. Here. Gate is open. This going to piss you off. All of the oh, man. material. The lights that are supposed to go up on the light poles, the light poles. We got more of the fencing down there. Jeez, look at that. Here's look at that raw material. Right here. <sighs> this is your tax dollars. Burning. Mm-hmm. Imagine what a family, an American family, could do with that money. Yeah, right. If it wasn't just burning out here. Yep. Imagine all of this. Getting rained on. This is millions of dollars oh my, look at of equipment. Ever and ever. Look at that. Millions. And they don't We've even got remove it. Full of gear. Uh-huh. We've got <clears throat> all of the conduit. For the electrical? Yeah. Look at those rolls of conduit over there. Oh, my gosh. We've got what the concrete. A waste. Puddings over here. Those are at least six by six. Uh-huh. High control. Yeah. You know. And you know what's crazy? What? There's a media blackout on this area, a mile in both directions. Uh, they said, Border Patrol said, no media out here. Thankfully, I'm... Uh, I got an escort. They do not want you to see this. Of course not. They do not want you to see millions. I don't know if it's 100 million. I don't know. It's millions and millions of dollars sitting out Easily. Here burning up out in the desert. Your tax dollars. Oh, it's just incredible. It's a good thing we're not in, de- in debt or anything. It's a good thing we're in such great financial shape that we can afford to waste that kind of material and just let it sit out there in the desert and burn up. That's fine. Because uh, you know we're uh, we're in a really good position financially, and so that doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. That hurts. <clears throat> yeah, it does. On so many levels. Yeah, it does. And they can't even they don't even have the decency to go down and retrieve it and use it for something else. <clears throat> You're just gonna let that rot. Oh, they could have totally. Uh, you know how they're trying to keep us out of the capital. They could have just wrapped the Capitol yeah. a couple yeah. dozen in times a big in that wall. Yeah. Or Joe Biden's house. Like, oh, yeah. Remember the, the one on the beach that they built the wall for? Now, the country doesn't need a wall separating it. We don't need to be protected at all. Mm-hmm. But Biden certainly does. And he does. You need to protect the president of the United States. But what about the rest of us? Well, I think you need to protect this president of the United States from it's kind of like a baby <sighs> gate. You don't want him getting out and hurting himself. That's kind of <laughs> they're very you true. Need to pin him in. <laughs> oh, what a world! Yeah, it's it's fun, right? It hurts your heart. It does. It sure does. Because there's so many things going on that show the absolute indifference and disgust for this country that these that these officials have. They just don't care. And they're just going to let all of that just sit there. And, you know, you could come back in five or ten years and shoot the same scene. It'd just be more rotted by then. 
I'll bet you. I'll yeah. bet you it'll oh, just yeah. sit there the whole time. In fact, in fact, 2024, whoever the Republican nominee is, needs to go down, go down there, there and get an escort. <clears throat> if that guy can yep. get access to those supplies, then then a politician can. And you go down there and you shoot that spot three years from now, and you say, mm-hmm. hey, President Trump tried to blah, blah, blah. Or maybe it's Trump down there. This was supposed to be the big, beautiful wall, and it's been rotting here for four years. And meanwhile, mm. here are the statistics of the people flooding in. Here are the crime statistics. Here, right. Here's the fentanyl and all that stuff that's uh, invaded our, our streets and Make killed great, our kids. Make a great commercial. Mm-hmm. Really powerful. Let me tell you about Omega XL, something else that's very power, powerful. Um, we all have 360 joints from our neck down each vertebrae in, in our backs, arms, knees, hips, feet. That's 360 joints that take a beating with your daily activity and, of course, aging. That's why your joints hurt constantly and ruin your sleep. Uh, I know when I was having the flare-up on my elbow joint uh, and I'd roll over on it. Oh, it'd wake me up every time. Just really painful. But then started taking the Omega XL because of the science. When we're young, our bodies produce SPMs. They're nature's way of of keeping joints healthy. But as we age, we don't produce enough SPMs, which could be why I was in pain. Omega XL can restore your SPMs and rejuvenate joints and muscles so you can move like when you were young. Can your supplement do that? Order Omega XL and we'll throw in a second bottle for free. OmegaXL.com slash Pat. That's OmegaXL.com slash Pat. Or call 1-800-844-4888. Pat Gray is here (laughs) on the Blaze Radio Network. Uh, For those listening on Blaze Radio, just heard the promo for uh, Jeffy and Chewing the Fat, (laughs) where he was talking about the Subway tuna that contains (laughs) no tuna. (sighs) Oh. What possesses any someone to take a Subway tuna sandwich and say, you know what? I'm going to test the DNA of this of this sandwich and see what's really in it. <laughs> I don't know who, but it's an interesting finding. The Subway tuna contains chicken, mm. pork, and cattle. <laughs> Isn't that called beef? So that would be beef, yeah. <laughs> so it's like right? And cattle. Cattle. Weird way to put that. An amended lawsuit accusing Subway of duping the public about its tuna sandwiches now claims that the alleged mystery meat actually contains trace amounts of chicken, pork, and cattle DNA. It's the third amended lawsuit filed against Subway this year. Mm. Uh, the latest version... Filed on Monday, so yesterday. It said the two oh, collected... Week. Oh, it was last Monday? Yes, yes sir. The two collected 20 tuna samples from 20 Subway restaurants in Southern California, submitted them for testing. Uh, 19 of the 20 samples contained no detectable tuna DNA sequences <laughs> oh, whatsoever. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you make... That's interesting. How do you make chicken, pork, and cattle... Magic. Tastes like tuna. It's magic, Pat. Come on. That's gross is what it is. It is so gross. Well, tuna's gross. Let's be honest. You and I both despise yeah, I don't tuna. Like, do not. So this is like almost tuna. like a, a now now I kinda want one of these sandwiches, knowing that it's actually There's not no tuna. tuna in them. <laughs> <laughs> weird, man. Oh, so man. weird. What for its part, Subway has gone to great lengths to defend the integrity of its tuna sandwiches. Oh, 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 oh. Since the initial lawsuit in January. Subway launched a new page on its website declaring, Subway tuna is real tuna. Uh, No, apparently that's not true, but a spokesman for Subway bashed the latest lawsuit and insisted that Subway tuna is high quality. (laughs) It's high quality, wild caught, 100% tuna, and absolutely no cattle in it. No cattle. No cattle, no sheep. I've never re- and very few goats are <laughs> contained in this tuna. Very few. We only found like ah, 16% goat DNA. 
Uh, have you ever ordered, like, let's say you go at a taco, right? You know? Yeah. You're like, hey, you're a fajita or something. You want chicken or cattle? Mm-hmm. Is that, is that what they say? <laughs> no, <laughs> what never. What a weird... It's weird. That means it's more than just cows, man. Yeah, I, I like, guess. Look, I think you were joking, but I think that's what that means, right? That when, yeah. it's more than just the moo cow. Or, or, well, it is, must be, because you would just say beef. Right. But, it's cattle. Are, are they protecting us from, from telling <laughs> us it's sheep and goat and horses and stuff? <laughs> horses. <laughs> mm. I mean, it's illegal now, right? Mm-hmm. Obama made sure of that. The plaintiffs have filed three meritless complaints, oh. changing their story each time. Oh, this wow. third most recent amended claim was filed only after their prior complaint was rightfully dismissed by a federal judge. This must be hurting Subway. They're feeling the effects I of this. I see that in these quotes. In- yeah. How many people go to Subway for tuna, though? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't go to Subway for anything because I don't, I don't like it. But you don't like it. a lot of people like Subway. Yeah. And... I don't know how many people go there for the tuna fish sandwich, but uh, that's fascinating that there's virtually no tuna fish in their tuna fish sandwich. Mm. Florida Man Rob tweets, uh, do you think if Republicans were to run with legalizing marijuana, they'd pick up more votes? Hmm. Maybe. I I I don't know. I think it's a personal freedom issue. Keith's all about legalizing marijuana. Yeah. Uh, B. DeBodine tweets, I could hear a collective gasp from all of the Pat heads oh, when no. Pat reached for a sound machine, oh, no. dreading the dreaded Beto guitar licks. And then what well, did now. you do, B. DeBodine? No. What did you do? You did this. That's what you did. The guitar well, styling the of done. Beto O'Rourke. Right here. And of course, as usual, you're welcome. Ooh. Then we start kicking out the jams right here. Oh, yeah. What a guitarist that guy was. <laughs> Why do you ever give that up? Oh, man. Yeah. Imagine the rock career he could have had. What was it? Foss? If we uh, could, yeah, I think so. Let's track down the members. If we can convince them to get back together, maybe he'll join them and go away. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Hmm. That'd be great. Uh, Rants Out Loud tweets, but remember, folks, infrastructure is roads, railways, and people, not border walls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Dimples. Seeing all those supplies on the border reminds me of Lincoln. If General McClellan does not want to use the army... Perhaps I may borrow it for a while. <laughs> That's Perhaps. a good reference there. All right, we got to share this information. We got the latest in- information on uh, Alex Jones. Oh, big case yesterday. <clears throat> big huh? case. Mm-hmm. Big decision. He's not happy about it. Oh, boy. Uh, we were just talking about Subway. Arby's is going to produce vodka with the same flavor profile no. of curly fries. That's dumb. That's uh, stupid. What? And it's 60 bucks a bottle? What? This is stupid. So there's going to be Arby's vodka? Yeah. 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 I, I don't this like... This is a real story, huh? This is a real story. This is not the Babylon Bee. I don't like the taste of Arby's curly fries to begin with. I, I certainly don't want it in a vodka. Too seasoned for me. No. Ugh. I mean, I might try I like this... taste of anything at Arby's. After, like, I've downed a bottle of normal <clears throat> vodka... But I mean, and then you won't know the difference. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. This is gross, man. No. They announced their plans to unroll two limited edition vodkas that will pair well (laughs) with their French fries. (laughs) Just buy the fries. Curly fry vodka. No. Preserves the distinguished and authentic flavor profile of its namesake's snack and is distilled with cayenne, paprika, onion, and garlic. That just sounds positively gross. Nasty. Right. Arby's crinkle fry vodka is more subtle and is made with real kosher salt and sugar. Oh, okay. Well, now I'm sold. Though we've mastered the art of drive through fries, we wanted to take it one step further by making them 80 proof. <laughs> <laughs> no, you what know what I would? Weird. You know what I would try? I would huh? actually try the roast beef sandwich flavored vodka. 
Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now that now that I'm listening, this is as as it Jeffy might say, this is bougie. Yeah, and it just doesn't sound good. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. More Pat Gray Unleashed coming up. Pat Gray returns on the yeah. Blaze Radio Network. Thanks for being here, 888-900-3393. Pat Unleashed on Twitter. A Connecticut judge has ruled InfoWars host Alex Jones liable for damages <clears throat> in a defamation lawsuit brought by the parents of children killed in the Sandy Hook Elementary Massacre because of his claims that the shooting was a false flag operation. According to the New York Times and Associated Press, Judge Barbara Bellis on Monday entered a default judgment against him because he refused to follow court orders to turn over documents. He claims that's not true, including his financial records. It's fine. Hmm. Interesting. Because of Jones's failure to produce critical material information that the plaintiffs needed to prove their claims, he was found liable and will be forced to pay a fortune in damages to the parents. Oof. Lawyers for the plaintiffs argued that Jones and his companies, including InfoWars and free speech systems, violated court rules by failing to turn over the documents, including materials that would show whether Jones profited from making false claims about the mass shooting or other mass shootings. Now, that would be really hard to prove one way or the other, wouldn't it? If he profited specifically from this. Yeah, I don't know. Their pattern of defying and ignoring court orders to produce responsive information is well established. According to the lawyer for the families, Jones' legal team has denied violating court rules on document disclosure and accused Bellis of being uh, impartial. You mean partial? Again, here's another (laughs) mistake-riddled article. Every story. Every story. Jeez. And accused Bellis of being impartial. Hey, you're being impartial here. <laughs> um, oh, thank you. <laughs> they mean to say of, of, of not being impartial? I mean, just... No, they, she was being impartial, so they asked for her removal from the case. You don't want impartial judges. You want somebody biased against you, right? <laughs> Weird. That is Weird. bad, Come on, man. That's, that's a bad. bad one. Just piss poor journalism. <laughs> Monday's ruling follows three previous rulings in Texas that found Jones liable. For, wow, he's been found liable three times for damages and defamation cases. You know, if I, I guess you keep appealing this as long as you can, because this is going to cost him a fortune. Wow. He'd claimed for years that the 2012 murders of 20 first graders and six teachers um was a government-organized ploy to confiscate Americans' firearms. Claimed the massacre was completely fake with actors, synthetic, and a giant hoax by gun control advocates and the mainstream media. Now, then he denied that, but, you know, we have the actual proof of what he he actually did say Mm. because uh, it's pretty clear. Pretty clear. You can't really noodle your way out of it okay. when you've said this. They have staged events before, but then you learn the school had been closed and reopened and you got video of the kids going in circles in and out. Wait a minute. We there are, we've, I think we've tried to figure this out before. The kids going around in circles? <laughs> what do you mean? What, they're just circling the school? What, what are they doing? I, I don't understand what the implication is there. Of the building, and they don't call the rescue choppers for two hours, and mm. then they tear the building down and seal it, and they, they get caught using blue screens. And uh, when were they caught using blue screens? A, a email by Bloomberg comes out in the lawsuit uh-huh. where he's telling his people get ready in the next 24 hours to capitalize on a shooting. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so Sandy Hook is a synthetic, completely mm. fake. With actors, mm. in my view, manufactured. Wow. I couldn't believe it at first. I knew they had actors there, clearly, but I thought they Clear. killed some real kids. And it just shows how bold wow. they are that they clearly used actors. I mean, they even ended up using photos of kids killed in mass shootings here yeah. in a fake mass shooting in Turkey. What? Okay. Uh, strange. <laughs> wow. You know, really weird. 
uh, start to finish. Now, he did say, in my opinion, right? He said, uh, it, clearly, in his opinion, mm. it was completely fake with actors. Does that cover him? In my opinion, because you can have, you can share your opinion on virtually anything as long as you make it clear that it's your opinion. I don't, I don't know that you'd lose a lawsuit over that. Of course, he just did. So, <laughs> uh, but he blamed the trauma of the media and the corporations lying so much for contributing to his purported uh, psychosis. The Sandy Hook families accused him of spreading lies about their children's murders, an accusation that he's disputed well, failing to produce evidence to support his claims. They said they were subjected to years of in-person and online harassment by people who had who believed Jones. I mean, that's just despicable. Even if you're listening and you're a big fan of Alex Jones, that's fine. To, to then turn around and hassle and harass the parents of the kids who were killed is just despicable. In 2019, Jones was ordered to pay, uh, ordered by a Texas judge to pay $100,000 in legal fees for disregarding a court order to produce witnesses. So juries in Texas and Connecticut will now decide how much he'll be forced to pay in damages. And those trials will take place next year. I wonder if you can get enough insurance. Hopefully he's taken out insurance to cover your losses in something like this. Because that's going to be ugly. That could ruin you for life. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Let me tell you about preborn. We I, I am so uh, proud to have partnered with preborn because uh, first of all they're the direct competition to Planned Parenthood. They're the I mean, abortion is the leading cause of death in the United States. Can you believe that? Wow. The leading cause of death. That's terrible. Over cancer. Over car accidents. Since Roe v. Wade, over 62 million babies have been aborted in the U.S. alone. The the number worldwide is over a billion. It, it's just really heartbreaking and tragic. Now, the Ministry of Preborn is partnering with us at Blaze Media to help rescue 10,000 babies in by the end of this year. Preborn uh, provides free ultrasounds in the U.S. to women considering abortions. Now, how does that help? Well, when the woman sees her baby on an ultrasound and hears the heartbeat, then that humanizes the baby, and 80% of the time, they choose life. So, please help us. Over the last 15 years... Preborns counseled over 340,000 women considering abortion. More than 169,000 babies have been saved. And over 51,000 women uh, have turned over their lives to Jesus, which is really cool. So if you can help us rescue 10,000 babies' lives, please donate. Dial pound 250, say the keyword baby. That's pound 250, keyword baby, or go to preborn.com slash pat. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Here's a fashion statement I think everybody's going to be enjoying very, very soon. Once you see this, you're going to say, oh, I have to have that. What? Is Where it? did she get that? And I'm going to have one too. <laughs> okay. Governor, uh, Oregon Governor Kate Brown in her holiday mask. She's so festive. Oh, no. Look at this. Oh, no. <laughs> she has a snow globe, <laughs> an actual snow globe a- attached to her mask. Please stop You this. look like an idiot. <laughs> oh, my <Yeah>. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she posted that, by the way. Uh, I mean, geez. this isn't some Photoshop no. or anything like that. Was posted by her on social media. Congratulations, Oregon! You now have Governor Bain, I guess, right? The, yeah. That is. Oh my. That's embarrassing. That is, is what it is. So embarrassing. <clears throat> These people are just goofballs. <laughs> well, they're, they're a cult. insane. Yes. It's literally yes. their religion, man. It it is. It, it's it. Oh, and they're proud of it too. They're proud. Look at me showing off my my uh, devotion. Right. Ugh. 
Did you see the church service uh, Kanye West held? Heard about this. Over the weekend. Uh, in attendance were Justin Bieber and Marilyn Manson? Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Wait a minute. Marilyn, isn't he He's got some a le- Satan worshiper? He's got some legal issues going on right now. Uh yeah, he's not a, treated people well. No, no, if I'm not so mistaken. maybe he's there, you know, trying to Oh, maybe seek guidance. Yeah, or, maybe. Or 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 just kind of uh huh. rehabilitate his image. I have no idea. What a weird coupling too. Justin Bieber and Marilyn Manson. And Kanye West <laughs> walk into a bar. Kanye West. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that is a fun one. Yeah, it is. Huh. Uh okay. And apparently he and and Kim Kardashian really are moving on, right? They're mm. they're getting a divorce. <laughs> I don't know. Because it looked like for a while they were going to make up because oh, they shoot. were seen together a few times. No, I don't think so. She would have made a heck of a first lady. Who's with me? Oh, yeah. Right? Kim Kardashian oh, yeah. as, the, uh, as the first lady. Hey, mm-hmm. can, can we honestly just take a moment? And, and every now and then we kind of need to assess where America would be if Kanye West had ended up being our president, as you know he attempted uh, to be. Uh, you know we'd be doing so much better right now as a nation if he were president as opposed to Joe Biden. Yeah, there's no way he could be doing worse. Right. <laughs> right. I don't think he would be sabotaging this nation <clears throat> the way so. it's currently happening. Uh, so, you know, opportunity lost, America. You could have had Kanye. All right. Well, YouTube, never mind. <laughs> Disregard that whole thing. Pat Gray, only on the Blaze Radio Network.